What is up, guys? Today, um, I'm gonna talk about a good budget saltwater lure tackle box. So, getting right into it. This is my tackle box right here. See, it's not too big, but it can still catch you uh, damn near anything you really want, and especially in the Florida area. So, first here, and this will be absolutely under fifty dollars, and this will be perfect for almost anything. So, first here. We have a mirror lure. Mirror lures, you gotta love. Mirror lures, sorry, I just finished a run, brain fart. My voodoo <laughs> paddle tails. My paddle tails are awesome. So I have two different colors one for murky water, one for um, a little more clearer in general, so not as high profile. And this one's a three inch, this one's a four inch. And those are both uh, really good. I love both of these. These do me great. So these are these two. And also for peers, it's highly recommended to take a gotcha plug. Gotcha plugs, especially walking the dog on the peers, gotcha plugs will catch you plenty of mackerel, and, and I've caught even trout with this. And both packs of voodoo, la voodoo lures and um, gotcha plug, including the spoon right here, you're still sitting at under $30. Spoons, awesome. Spoons were great. Catch plenty of redfish with this, especially like I have a little weighted spoon. And. I personally don't use it too much, but it's always good to have one of these guys. So, another little voodoo weedless hook. Like, can't go wrong with the artificial shrimp. And, you know, snap swivels, barrel swivels, everything like that. Uh, sinker weight for your sabiki rigs. Sabiki rigs are like about $2, $3, you can make your own. And a little half ounce or quarter ounce weights. And size one. I prefer size one. I just it's able to catch a gamatasku circle hooks. You can't go wrong with gamatasku. And besides that, I do have a backup tackle box that I can show a couple things that you could get if you want. You might have room for it. Um, that includes different color, a different size gotcha plugs. So I have one that's a little larger in there. Um, extra power tails. Uh, different color power tails. Uh, bobbers as well. If you, really, if you want to use bobbers, you use bobbers with artificial shrimp. Um, poppers as well. And uh, I got other swim baits right here. I got a mullet and uh, two bombers. Well, sorry, I have one bomber in this tackle box. Always good to have a nice top water. I have another bomber in here and a mirror lure. Mirror lure I've caught a decent amount with, but I definitely takes practice to really get the lure action going. But yeah, I've seen plenty of people. I've witnessed plenty of people slam inshore trout with these little mirror lures. And I have two of those, and I have a larger one with me as well. Um, yeah, extra shrimps, extra hooks, jig heads, that's the basic stuff. And including the box, I've only spent, and I'll you need a measuring tape too to make sure you keep it legal size fish, because you don't want a $500 ticket from FWC. And this, in total, will only run you about, I would say, under $40 even. So the thing is with saltwater lures is the old saying of they it's not about catching fish it's about catching anglers so they will charge a lot for a lot of lures some people have great luck with some things but personally I've caught plenty of red fish especially in the summer you're killing it with those with that spoon but um, besides that there's really not much else to say definitely keep that measuring tape and it bonuses to take with your saltwater kit. Our cast nets, sabiki rigs, um, you can even catch crabs. So you, that's what we're in place. Those sink, a little egg sinkers come in. So if you don't want to use lures, you can absolutely still use a lot of these egg sinkers. And you make a little Carolina rig with a leader. So weight, leader, hook, and there you go. It's as simple as that. You can catch plenty, plenty of fish just like that. And also... There's these little pyramid weights. Pyramid weights are also awesome for your sabiki rigs. If you don't know, sabiki rigs are awesome things you can use to catch plenty of bait fish. Sometimes you don't even need uh, little pieces of shrimp. And I um, don't know where I have it exactly, but they're in my bag somewhere. And the sabiki rigs, a little plastic thing about this big. They're about $2 each, sometimes $4 at some tackle places. And it's literally just tiny hooks with a little reflective piece of green paper that uh, imitates a fish scale. And you just either put a little shrimp, but I've personally caught plenty of bay fish without 
any shrimp or any sense at all. You can also bait it with little pieces of gulp, leftover gulp baits. That is another bonus if you want to use that. I've had it. It personally works for me, but um, my wife didn't really enjoy the smell of gulp baits in the house. So 100% you can have gulp baits as well as... Um, I've heard good things about no live bait needed, but I've also heard a lot of bad things. The main things that I've heard like only good things of is absolutely gulp, absolutely voodoo. And and along with Gamatasku in general, because Gamatasku is a like a very, very, very well trusted brand in terms of their hooks. Everything is pretty solid. Let me fix this camera. So I've I've never really had anything wrong with that. But um yeah, so that's the, the video. This entire tackle box, even with some of the extra stuff, will still only cost you under fifty dollars. I highly recommend Voodoo as a product. Voodoo is great. Gotcha plugs. Mirror Lore, Gamatasku. Those are my top four brands for saltwater kits. And this tackle box right here, let's show over time. Power tail, um, artificial shrimp, little measuring tape, Gamatasku hooks, uh, sinkers, bomber, spoon, mirror lore, and swivels. Uh, especially some swivels only cost you about a dollar. You don't even need swivels. If you just want to tie, I have an FG knot. So the only reason I have a snap swivel is to switch out lures uh, quickly. But yeah. Under fifty dollars, highly recommended. And um, yeah, hope you guys have a good day. Don't pay too much on lures. You don't need to save it for the the rods or save it for just enjoying things besides. But you don't need to break the bank on fishing. But that is my budget saltwater lure video. So take care. Hope you guys have a good day. Thank you.